Brandy. Yeah. First time we've been across the pond. Yeah. Weird over. I don't understand the measurement. I don't either. Very. We are at Crime Stories Obsessed, Brandy. Yay. Our good pal. Emma. Emma. Emma opens up. Looks like the presidential seal kind of has her avatar. I like it. I felt like I had to straighten my tie. Mm hmm Emma opens up with that lovely British accent. Oliver accent. Yeah, I can't do a good Emma. Tried. Yeah, I'm not good at any accent, but a country accent. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Crime Stories Obsessed. That's better than I could have done, probably. Mm -hmm. Emma says hi one way. Thanks for stopping by. I like Emma. She reads chat, too. Oh, yeah. Gives people shout out. So this evening, we're going to basically discuss why Don thinks he's a victim. Early on, we get a big impression, Emma, not a huge well support. <laughs> no. Got a lot of feeling? I agree with you, Emma. Just saying. Yeah, I don't support me either. Emma says, about this evening, everything's just my opinion. It's the way I see shit. A lot of it's going to be fact, but... It's her opinion. It's my opinion. I share a lot of her opinions, though. Behind you on a lot of this. Yes. Harley. She says early on in the case, she's seen zero cooperation by the parents. Yes. I agree. They didn't. They weren't out there looking for Summer. Didn't see a lot of interaction, no. Candace avoided any media for a couple weeks before she even came out with a statement. Took a minute. Yeah, that's so nice. Tells one way hi again. Says, when you have a missing kid, why do you stop talking to the popo? Probably because you're a suspect. That's a good point. You would be wanting to, you know, do whatever you can to find your kid, not avoiding them. If I didn't have nothing to hide, I wouldn't worry about it. I would be up in that law enforcement butt trying to get some answers. Emma describes Dawn for the first time, and she, she'll she go over this a few times, as a chameleon. Yeah, that's a good, good point. He changes his spots, considering what... Who he's around or what the situation is. Yeah, I never thought of it the way she said, you know, she said, like, um, he'll go on a channel and he's criticized for something, like, um, not talking about Summer. Then the next time he's on somebody's channel, all he does is talk about Summer. He talks about, it seems like he changes who he is depending on the channel. Right. Like, on the lab, he's anti against his sisters. Everything's BS done on. On other channel, he might be like, oh, I'm sad, Summer's dad, Don. It depends. He's a comedian. He can either, and she talks about a lot of the times, he'll, if if he's getting the word that he's not coming off as empathetic, the next time you see him, super empathetic, right? Yeah, that's exactly. Emma says, Don become a comedian from prison. Yes, all the time he spit behind bars. Yeah, like, he, he, he learned how to act how he needed to to get by in prison. Right. And he's... Kept on acting like that once he got out. And also further developed, honed the skill of the comedian. Mm -hmm. We know he has like two different personalities, like the religious religious Don and then the... Drunk Racist Don. Don. Racist. Talk, yeah, cuss words. Has every cuss word in the book. Yeah. Emma says, and I hadn't heard this, Don had actually even reached out to JLR. Wow. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I don't see that friendship working out. <laughs> no. He's never reached out to Oh, thank God. I, I just don't see that look that working out. Emma talks about these these all this stuff that's been happening lately. You've been seeing a lot of photo ops. Right. There was the Eric Estrada incident. There was the uh, at the booth at the rodeo. Talks about how all this is is so odd. Considering this looked like it should have been day five shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think it, it it's odd. It's like how it's took them two years to generate the interest in that going out and doing this kind of stuff and where's it been? I said, instead of walking with searchers side by side, you'd rather be drinking high on you. <laughs> Shots fired! Shots fired! But very true. Kind of true. Miss Christine's name comes up. Miss Christine? Or is it Miss Christine? 6666? Six, six, six. Possibly. Yeah. One way gets another. Thanks. I think what we got here is a teacher's pet. Yeah. You get a three-peat. Doing something right one way. Good job. When Emma goes back to the no law enforcement thing. Why they don't want that relationship with law enforcement? This time she goes to A, they know where she is, or B, they're probably suspects. Yeah. Yes, both seem likely. Very likely. I thought about, at times it seems like, 
they know where she's at. Oh yeah, from the very beginning, just how they acted, you know? If they knew something, we did. Emma talks about inconsistencies. She brings up some stuff about Grannis and Ziggy V. When you're messing with Ziggy V, there's going to be inconsistencies. Tons of them, yeah. That was a whole mess, wasn't it? That's all I'm going to say about that. Emma says the red car drove that because it can be tracked. Yeah, we, we came out with a video near the beginning when we started YouTube. And it was about that same thing. We thought it was because either that car could be tracked and it wouldn't show where he was at. Or it could have been because it could be tracked and they didn't want Candace in it. Yeah, so she would have been tracking. Because then she could have been tracked. It's, still up in the air. Yeah, it's something to think about because he but, never usually... Took that car to work. Emma says, Candace pointed a gat at the CPS. Mm -hmm. Emma brings up a time Don was on the lab and he says that he is a victim in his missing daughter's case. He's the victim. I've heard him say stuff like that before. There's only one victim. Yeah. Emma talks about the reason CPS removed the boys from the home. Could have been a few things. Filthy house. Definitely. It might have been. Nope. Poor living conditions. Super cramped. Everybody sharing toilets and showers between lots of people in bad conditions. Mm -hmm. Sleeping on the floor, which I, I think they have beds. But. Then Emma talks about, she's like, so JSB's line, Dudley's line, Andy's line. Who else you know? Josh. Josh's line. All these people are lying. Every one of them. Except for Don and Candace. That's the sign of a narcissist. Mm -hmm. Emma says Don and Candace wasn't supposed to be around the children. Don and Grandis. what I said. You said Candace, but I think she said Grandis. Emma says Don and Grandis wasn't supposed to be around the kids. I didn't I, know that. I've heard that. Uh -huh. I've heard that was the reasoning when Dudley talked about Don and being the, at the places they was working, staying. Was Don mm -hmm. wasn't supposed to be around them? I hadn't heard the Grandis part. I'm, I'm not sure about that, but it's interesting. Yeah, what's the reason? That is weird. I'd like to know what's up. Emma brings up a good point. There's no cooperation with law enforcement. Or CPS. And if you think about it, that is telling. Very telling. You know, you're not cooperating with law enforcement or CPS. Who are you willing to cooperate with? All these people are, are very important in ever getting your children back and you're cooperating with? No one. None of them. I would be on the phone, you know, getting updates every week, you know, just to check the status of everything. Yeah, I want to know what was going on. Definitely. I would be working to try to get my boys back. They haven't done nothing. They haven't stayed on off YouTube. They're on there every day. So, and, and till you see a, about a six-month break from that, you know they ain't even being earnest about doing anything. Right. Emma goes over the broad range of charges the Wells have had. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. Emma talks about not only they got a ton of charges, they got charges against one another. That's, that is bad. Yeah. Emma brings up a good point. And who knows what the kids have actually said. We don't know. That, yeah. That's under wraps. It would ne I don't know what would get that brought out. We probably will never know. But it could be some wild stuff. Right. Emma, once again, talks about Don and Candace didn't search. Didn't even look interested in the beginning. That's why all this stuff has a blank. Emma says there were claims of Don and Candace hiding from CPS and refusing access. I've heard that. Yeah, I, I've heard it too. Emma... Brings up the Colin and Mary playing games about the Donnie was taken and stuff. How, how do the, the supporters defend that one? If there's any of y'all in here, comment below. Yeah, how, how in the world would you support that? How do you support somebody that does that right after their daughter went missing? It was only a, a few months at the moment. Emma talks about the staircase death trap. Yeah. That's the reason right there you might want to take a kid out. She said even for a fit person. I would have done killed myself if I lived there. Pretty dangerous. He says, make CPS kidnapping kids make sense. Make that make sense for me. Yeah, I think they ran out of stuff to say, you know. I think they went that route when they realized CPS wasn't giving them their kids back. Yeah. Next thing, best way to save face would be to attack them before it all comes out in the wash. Yeah, and they have to be the victim, right? I think Tim Mullen did a preemptive strike on that one. Emma says, from what I've seen, CPS's biggest accomplishment? Taking it. Right. They did something good there. Token? Hey. Emma, give a shout out. I haven't seen Token in a while, I'm assuming. Nope. Emma's good at shout outs. 
I'm gonna give a shout out. Yeah. Emma starts out, she's like, all right, in chat, how many of you think Don and Candace are victims? And she immediately, before she even gets a time for a response, is like, they're no victims. If they're victims, they're self-made victims. I concur. I agree. Totally agree. Total agreement. Emma talks about, I was watching The Lab one night. Josh was on there with D-Dub. She's like, I, I LOL'd, I'll admit it. Apparently Emma was watching The Lab, chuckling it up one night. Mm -hmm. Josh got in a couple of zingers. Emma goes off again. Once again, everybody's lying. JLR, law enforcement, CPS. All of them lying. Only the narcissist is telling the truth. How unlikely is that? Very unlikely. Very unlikely. Emma describes a narcissist. Says something, somebody that stuff's never their fault. No matter the situation, no matter the circumstance, they are not to blame. Nope. Always excused or... Always the victim. Mm -hmm. It fits, in my opinion. Thoughts? No, I, I agree. It definitely fits Dawn. Maybe Candace, too. I think it fits them both because they both play that victim shit. If that's oh, a sign yeah. of a narcissist, we got us a couple. Maybe that's why they make such a good couple, right? Could be. Emma says, and I quote, They run out of gas. It's the effing engine on the car's fault. <laughs> Yeah. Didn't sound like that when Emma said it, but it was Emma said F. Emma brings up the time Candace said metabolism. Has her an LOL. <laughs> Vocabulary is not great. Metabolism. Emma goes back. Car. That was an alibi. That's what the red car was. Could be. I feel you. Yeah, I do too, because that is weird. Very strange how it plays into the events of June 15th, 2020. Emma says, Don spent half of his life locked away. Had plenty of time. To work on being a comedian. Yeah. It's true. That's sad to think. Half your life sitting in the clinker. Twin women Not working on himself. A lot of people work on their self while they're in jail. Yeah. I don't think he can come out with a certificate any of the, those times. Nope. She says, Token, what's the word in Tennessee? You're from Tennessee. What's the word over that way? Emma says, She don't believe nothing that come out of Allie or H. Emma's suspicious that Summer was even there on the 15th. Yeah. I think about that, but why are the, uh, why would they be lying, you know, or for, you know, lying to Donna, or lying for Donna? Who knows? I, I've always said, I think there's a possibility the youngest boy could have passed as her in the back for security cameras and stuff. Right. And it would explain why this case is so hard to crack if right. it was reported later than we know. Yeah, and it, it could have been that way. It might have been, happened like a day before, who knows? Just our opinion. You know, it says, don't act stupid. But no, it's not. He's not stupid, no. He said he acts stupid. Oh, <laughs> that yeah. That was funny. Emma says, I'd like to see some camera footage from the 15th, like surveillance stuff. I would, too. No, I would, too. I'd love to. It's wild. Somebody didn't go in none of them stores. I know my little girl would have been like, I want to go in, 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 I want to mm -hmm. go in. Oh, yeah. And they did make several stops, right? Yeah, she didn't want to come in none of them. Something to think about. Emma says she don't think Summer's with us no longer. She thinks Summer is on the proper. I hate to think that, but, you know, I hate as to time think goes it. by, you have to... It's a possibility. Yeah. Emma says she thinks Donna Cannes are suspects. Law enforcement just don't have the evidence to make the arrest. Very possible. I think they're suspects. I, I think, think they, they got it. If they aren't, who is? No sign of an abduction, so uh, you wouldn't have an abductor as a suspect. It's got to fall back to them. Yep. Emma says, if y'all would press the like button, please. Thank I, you. I did, Emma. I pressed it too. I did too.